and welcome to your Friday One Show. Now, with a Grand National tomorrow, lots of you will have had a little wager in the office sweepstake. And we didn't want to miss out, so tonight we are doing our own version. So, One Show Jockey, pass me the cap so I can pick the winner. Oh, well, this is Arif. Doesn't he look lovely? Dash in. Very nice. So, I've got a Little Richard. Ah, yes, Richard Osborne. Good Hello, everybody. Hiya. Lovely to have you back. I've never been called that before. It's just lovely to be back. Let me pick out a yeah, contender. Yeah, have a go. Have a go. I have got nation's favourite, wearing the colours of BBC Sport, Claire Balding. Oh. Hi, Claire. Hey, right up. Have a go. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'll pick this one. Who do you have? Who do you have? Small Town Boy. Oh. Yes, the unforgettable voice of Bronski Beat is with us, and he'll be playing his new version of the classic Small Town Boy. Jimmy Somerville is with us. The Small Town Boy, Small Town Boy, actually a good name for a horse. Very good it? name. Very good yeah. name. Yeah. Arif, are you a real jockey? I'm not sure you are. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, who have you got? Red Rum. My best That's me. Accent. Thanks, Jimmy. Now we've got our own hat going on up here at Aintree on Ladies' Day. And I'm drawing two names of leading jump jockeys that I'm going to be interviewing later. They are Nina Carberry, she'll be racing in the Grand National tomorrow, and Katie Walsh, who's awaiting to see if she's got a horse. Waiting to see this late in the day? Waiting to see if she's got a horse. Amazing. Surely you always know if you've got a horse, don't you? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> there, are, there are clues. <laughs> now, if you've put money on some of the UK's women's sports teams over the past couple of years, well, you're probably feeling a lot luckier than if you'd bet on their male counterparts. Um, we've got a few of them here, actually. Football players, rugby players, netball players, and Europe's top roller derby players. Don't be shy. Welcome <laughs> in. In a minute, we'll be asking Claire what the next big story in women's sport might be. But first, a special report that she's made just for us. Go! It's one of the highlights of the British sporting calendar, the historic Oxford-Cambridge boat race. Rode along this four-mile stretch of the Thames between Putney and Mortlake. And this year, for the very first time, two women's crews will race on exactly the same course on the same day with the same television coverage as the men. It's taken 88 years to turn this particular tide. The very first women's boat race was rowed amidst much controversy in 1927. The first victory was even being able to get into the boat um, because the